Okay, we're back. So we're starting um, general knowledge question number 21 and we're going to stop at general knowledge question 40. So we're going to do 20 questions. And um, I, I may come across some some that I don't know. So just be forewarned. Now I'll try to uh, let you know or show you where I screw up. <laughs> So I'm not perfect, and um, we'll just. This is, after all, a study group. So we're we're going through these questions, and we're going to try to uh, pick the right answers. Okay. So number 21, a key principle to remember when loading cargo is to keep the load balanced in the cargo area. Correct. How far should a driver look ahead? of the vehicle while driving. Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. Uh, number 22. How far should a driver look ahead of the vehicle while driving? 12 to 15 seconds. Correct. 23. How do you correct a rear wheel acceleration skid? Stop accelerating. Correct. The purpose of the retarders is to slow the vehicle while driving and reduce brake wear. Correct. Control braking. Is used to keep a vehicle in a straight line when braking. Correct. Which of these is a good thing to do when steering to avoid a crash? Don't turn any more than needed to clear what is in your way. Correct. You should stop driving whenever you become sleepy. Correct. 28. Which of these is not a good rule to follow when caring for injured person at an accident scene? Keep an injured person's cool. Correct. You should avoid driving through puddles or flowing water. But if you must, which of these steps can help to keep your brakes working? Gently putting on the brakes while driving through the water. Correct. Which of these statements is uh, which of these statements about drugs is true? Use of drugs can lead to an accident or an arrest. Correct. Which of these is good thing to remember when crossing or entering traffic with a heavy vehicle. Heavy vehicles need larger gaps in traffic than cars. Correct. You are driving a heavy vehicle with a manual transmission. You have to stop the vehicle on the shoulder while driving on an uphill grade. Which of these is a good rule to follow when putting it back in motion up the grade? Use the parking brake to hold the vehicle until the clutch engages. Correct. 33. You are driving a heavy vehicle. You must exit 
a highway using an off ramp that curves down here hill you should slow to a safe speed before the curve correct you must park on a side of a level straight four lane divided highway where should you place the reflective triangles mm. Hmm. Huh. Well, I thought it was I don't see the answer to that that I think is correct uh, I thought the answer was a hundred feet in front of the vehicle ten feet behind the rear and then two hundred feet behind the rear uh, this one says ten feet in the front of the vehicle one about one hundred feet to the rear one about two hundred feet this one says ten feet to the rear one about a hundred feet to the rear and one about two hundred feet to the rear I guess I'll go with A. Let's see if that's correct. That's correct. Um, you are driving on a two-lane road. This is question number 35. You are driving on a two-lane road. An oncoming driver drifts into your lane and is headed straight for you. Which of these is the most often which of these is most often the best action to take steer to the right correct brake fidel this is question number 36 question number 36 brake fidel can be caused by brakes getting very hot can be corrected by letting up on the brakes for one and a half seconds and then reapplying them. It's a problem that only occurs with drum brakes. I, you know, I don't know this answer here. I don't even know what brake fidel means. Brake fidel. What if they mean fatigue? F brake fade. Oh, brake fade. Um, those those lines. These these lines here sort of got me through me brake fade so that's fading brakes I would say uh, can be caused by brakes getting very hot let's see if that that's it that's correct yes which of these statements about engine overheating is true so we're looking look pardon me we are looking for a true statement okay about over uh, overheating engines so just find the true statement you should never shut off an overheated vehicle uh, overheated engine until it cools hmm you next one is you should never remove a radiator cap on a pressurized system until it's cool I would say that was the most true right there enterprise is not needed when weather is warm Remember, we're looking for true statements. We're going to go with B, and it's correct. Good. Uh, that was, uh, and by the way, that was about the never remove a, a radiator cap when it's pressurized and, and the vehicle's hot. Okay, number 38. Which of these statements about overhead clearance is true? A. 
we should assume posted clearance signs are correct. B. Weight of average vehicle changes its height. Wait, the weight of a vehicle changes its height. I, I believe that to be true. If road surface causes your vehicle to tilt forward, objects at the front of the road, you should drive close to the shoulder. I'm going to go with A, I mean B. The weight of a vehicle changes its height. So which of these statements about overhead clearance is true? The weight of a vehicle changes its height. Its height. It's height. Correct. Number 39. Which of these statements about vehicle fire is true? A. If a cargo van, if, if cargo in a van or box trailer catches fire, you should open the cargo doors as soon as possible. Hmm. We're looking for a true statement now. If, number B, or letter B, if you're engine is on fire you should open the hood as soon as you can C a burning tire should be cooled with water I would say C is correct correct number 40 you are driving a long vehicle that makes wide turns okay you want to turn left from Elm Street onto Poplar Street both are two-lane, two-way streets. You should begin your turn, begin turning your vehicle, A, begin turning your vehicle as soon as you can, as soon as you enter the intersection. That's A. B, begin turning your vehicle when you are halfway through the intersection. C, turn into the left lane of Poplar and then move to the right lane when traffic is clear. Hmm, I'm going to have to say B. Begin turning your vehicle when you are halfway through the intersection. So, halfway through and begin turning. Let's see if I'm correct. Correct. Good. Okay, so now we're gonna pause. We're gonna we're gonna stop, and um, we'll take this up later on another video. So, thank you for watching, and uh, have a great day.